Hey guys, we're back. Sorry about that. We'll hiccup up there. Uh, I'll try and get back in the game. And uh, I won't be able to see hands anymore, but I should be able to join as a spectator if, we didn't, if I didn't crash the whole thing. Let's hit Skype back up. All right, so it looks like we're probably not going to be able to see the end of that game. So we're going to jump in the other one. Hey, we can, sorry. Maybe sorry we can just that. talk or something. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know, my computer had some sort of like hiccup, maybe due to sharing screen. Um, but they had to boot me from the game, and I can't rejoin it. So we're going to just watch the other one for okay. now. I, I could just watch an octagon, and then just you'll have to tell me what the corp cards are. No, like I literally can't get in the game anymore. We're gonna just. Okay, I, I I mean, if you don't want to share a screen in the future. Oh no no, this is fine. Okay cool. I don't I don't know that that's actually what was wrong. Uh, we we've got the other game going. Here's Valencia versus Blue Sun Glacier. Uh, Valencia did manage to get a priority acquisition, as you can see. Uh, and sorry about the the flip sides, but uh, we'll just have to deal. We're gonna jump in the other match uh, as a player when they finish that game, so we won't get to see the end of that one. Uh, sad because it was a pretty interesting, exciting game that definitely could go either way. But it looks like we have another one in our hands here. All right, so let's see here. Valencia's got Pryrek, Blue Sun has Atlas, and and we're going for Snatch and Grab. Yep, Ooh. Snatch and Grab. I approve. <laughs> Yeah, this is like a pretty good tech card these days. Most of the Anarch decks and some of the criminal decks, especially against Blue Sun, are leaning on Kitty Jones. Um, so. Yeah. Like, being able to just kill Katie out of nowhere is so good. Oh, yeah. Um, if you're privy enough to play around it, you can play around Snatch and Grab just by having a lot of money all the time. And yeah, making sure you know you take money off of Katie enough that it's expensive for them to trace you to trash her. But um, you know, I mean, obviously, it's still a really powerful thing to be able to blow up a Katie with any amount of money on her, um, especially in these situations where the corp is broke um, or the runner is broke. And now, while the runner is broke, the corp's going to take the opportunity to go ahead and try and score another in Yeah, it says open scoring window. Let's go for it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Valencia could still, like, blackmail in, so we'll see. There's so, probably an Ash here. And, and but the like, Ash should make it safe. Yeah, the Ash should make it safe. This is almost certainly an Ash. Um, I guess it could be Chrysium Grid as, like, a bluff, but... Yeah, we it, think it's an Ash. We have no idea. <laughs> we actually don't know that. So here's a credit. Here's the block. Block. No, just a run. Okay. Okay, so no blackmail run here. I guess this is uh, an attempt to get the Corp to res the ice here. Mm -hmm. uh, Yogg's in play, so Data Pike's sort of off. Uh, Caduceus is a little bit off. I mean, but the Hive is live. Hive is live. So he can break this Hive. Three subs, so it's going to cost him three after the BP. Um, Nova still has three credits available to res Ash, um, and he can always bounce the Hive to score. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is just going to end the run here. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't... I mean, there's just a high probability that's either NAPD or, you know, whatever. Yeah, I think it's pretty reasonable. I mean, you'd only really be going for it if you're like, oh, I really want him to res the Ash for some reason and prove it. Yeah. But that's that's pretty marginal. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, NAPD can't be scored with only one counter on it. Oh, yeah, true. So this is... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not going to be able to get in twice. Um... Stay just runs the hand and gets Pyrak. 
Not bad. Yeah, so that is an Atlas counter. Um, no, no, he got the NAPD off the hand. The Primarch was already scored. So. Oh, yeah. Sorry, excuse me. Um, so now it's 5-2 or 5-4. Uh, so Hive still has one sub on it. That's something. I think I probably would have picked up the Hive that turn. Um, although I guess it is reasonable deterrent from having the runner go and get the Ash. Yeah, I think so. All right. Valencia's drawing cards. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't show hands here because we just joined in on this one as spectators. When we join into the next game, we'll see the hands again because we'll be in there as players. Anthony, is the stream looking good now? Um, let me just confirm. Yeah, the stream's looking good. Okay, so Hedgefot out of Blue Sun's going to... Give him enough money to you know do something. He did bounce the hive that turn, and he replaces the hive with something else to protect uh, what we think is an ash. Yeah. The the one thing on the stream really quick is that uh, instead of my face, it shows the Skype window. Oh. Well, let's fix that. There you go. Yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, Rotom on Val just clicks for credits. No more Katie Jones, which means that. He's in the economic doldrums despite being on five points. Um, being able to steal the, a priority requisition against Blue Sun Glacier is a really big deal. Um, it's pretty difficult to win games against this deck where you have to steal four agendas, but when you only have to steal three... It's actually doable. Oh, it's very... It, I mean, it's doable either way, but when you when you know you only have to score three agendas, it makes things a whole lot easier. Um, I think... I think the, the Pyrex are the biggest weakness of this deck. It'd be nice to know how many black mills he's gone through. Yeah. If any. Um, That's true. Uh, if, he, if he gets, if he assembles like double blackmail and enough money to trash the Ash, all he has to do is not run the remote server. But this Blue Sun deck is playing Overset AI and Executive Bootcamp, so blackmail is not like a surefire way uh, to get into the remote. Like if he just like moves a, um, a Toll Booth or puts a Lotus Field down over there and reses that, uh, Yogg's in play, no data sucker. It could be difficult. Yeah, I mean, he can do like desperation black nails and uh, R and D with medium at some point. Hey guys. Hey. Like big a bunch. You guys go to the park yet? I'm ready to go to FDR instead. I brought the Oh. Whoa! Thank you guys. All right, so Corp installs ice on the remote and your sights up. Anthony, I'm muting myself for a second. All right, all right, mute yourself. You should, uh, you should. Gone so I can see it. Yeah, so yeah. I can't see off gone unless you're on. Yeah, I thanks. actually failed to mute myself. All right, so Corp's oversighted up the current wall. It's really good against Valencia. Shuts down blackmail on the remote entirely. And Valencia goes. All right, unfortunately, since I can't see Valencia's hand, I'm not quite sure what he's got planned, but there's no real need to get into the remote now. Okay, plays Cyber Cypher on the Tolu server. And he is spooning that Tolu, just killing it with the Cyber Cypher. Interesting play. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't have to pay that much, but... And it is denying Blue some good amount of credits, I guess. Uh, sure, it's, it's reasonable. Oh, and that's R and D. It's, it's hard to tell because of how this how the layout's set up. But yeah, so he's also getting the triggers medium off this. All right, then this plate's great. Digging deep with the medium and missing. Oh. How many was that? Three. 
Yeah, I think that was. What did, did he spoon that toll booth? Yeah, he he spooned the toll booth. With cyber. Yeah, I didn't realize that that was RNG because uh, 